Hi, welcome to Lullaby. I'm Laura, and today we're going to needle felt bugs. So there are so many different types of bugs, and there are so many different kinds of colors and ways to finish them. Here are some of the examples that I've made. And if you know how to do the basics, you can make any one of these as well. So I decided to start with this little guy. Um, we make the base shape for the bug. Now if you've watched any of the other videos that I've done on needle felting or needle felting 101, you see that I usually start the base shape of a project with stuffing. When something is really small, like these bugs, I use all wool. That way we don't get any bleed through of the white stuffing through the wool. It's just quicker this way if you're working on a really small project. So this bug is green. I'm going to roll up my green wool and start to felt it. Remember, watch your fingers. The needles are really sharp. The bug bodies need to be very firm, so it's going to take 10-15 minutes for you to felt this bug body as firmly as we want it to be. So when it's felted completely, it's going to look like this. And with your needle, we can make lines on the body to show where the different colors will go. So I made a little line down his back and I separated his head from his body. And you can take a little bit of red. Very, very little bit. It's just like shading and lightly felt it on his back. Not in a solid color, but so that we can see the green underneath of it. So it's like you took a colored pencil and you just lightly colored the top of the bug. And another one on this side. And let's put a little black on him. Put black on his head. And these bugs, they make good toys for children who are a little bit older, not children who will put things in their mouths. They can also make really beautiful brooches. The beaded bugs are like jewelry pieces. Okay, now to add the legs, you're going to want to have um, a pair of wire cutters and a pair of craft pliers. Cut off several pieces of black wire included in your kit, same length. Now the legs will want to go all the way through the bug. So you take your felting needle and you put it through the bug like this. And don't take the needle out, but just go back and forth and make a tunnel through the bug. Turn the end under just a little so it doesn't get caught on the wool. and push it through. The bug. Now turn it over the other end. Pull the bug's legs down. 
shape it up a little bit then add the other legs and antenna if you want now this bug was finished with um, a unique technique in your craft kit you'll have a small container of beeswax and heat the beeswax on the stove till it's melted you take a spoon you pour the beeswax over the wool and let it soak in and this is something that an adult should do a child shouldn't do this this step cover the entire bug with wax and when it's cooled just enough you can take your fingers and press it down and when it dries it it gives it this uh, this waxy but very hard texture it also keeps the legs in place these bugs were finished with wax this bug was finished with wax and we used uh, acetate paper on the top for the wings these bugs the body was shaped in the same way the body was needle felted like this then with the bead needle that comes in your kit, the bead needle is threaded through the center so it fits all different sizes of beads. You start the thread and then bead by bead. We put on Now before you finish beating this bee, you want to put his legs in. So you do the same, do it the same way. Take your needle, felting needle, go all the way through the bee several times, and then insert your legs. Then you can finish beating him once the legs are in. And when you finish, you have a little bee like this. This one would make a really nice brooch.